Hey, this is Judy, and today we're going to make a really fun craft using a wine glass. But we're going to flip the wine glass over, and we're going to paint it to look like this cute little bunny. You can use it for a candle holder, or I think it would really be cute to put a little candy dish on the top and put some jelly beans in it. So let's get started. I'm going to paint the inside of the glass. That way, if you're handling it, that paint is not going to rub off. And usually one coat does the trick. I'm using a sponge brush. Always goes a little faster if you have something very big to paint to use a sponge brush. I'm not too concerned about seeing any brush marks or anything because that could just be the bunny's fur. Of course, I got my wine glasses at Dollar Tree and they have different sizes and shapes of wine glasses. This one was called a red wine glass. Okay, so I'm done with that part. And I probably would let this dry before I went on, but since I'm painted the inside and I'm not handling it, it's not going to make any difference. Okay, so the next part is our bunny needs some ears. So you're going to have a pattern and a piece of burlap. This is a light colored burlap. I kind of like that better than the, the more natural color. So I've got one ear painted. I'm going to paint the inside of the ear to look like the inside of a bunny's ear. And you want to put it on a piece of cloth or a paper towel or something because burlap is a coarsely woven, woven fabric and the paint is going to seep through the little cracks while you're painting and you don't want to get that on your table. And as the paint dries, it does stiffen up the burlap a little bit and it makes your little bunny ears stand up a little better. Okay, so I've got one done. I'm going to let that one dry while I'm doing the next part. I am going to now draw on the bunny face. And I am using a permanent marker to do the eyes, the whiskers, and the mouth. So it's kind of a simple face, just a couple oval shaped eyes. And every bunny doesn't look the same, doesn't have to look exactly like mine. A couple oval shaped eyes. Leave a little space for the nose. Draw some whiskers. And I'm going to do the mouth, and I'm going to paint the nose on with some pink paint. Okay, so I'm going to take the same pink paint I used for the inside of the ears, and I'm going to use a smaller brush. And I'm going to make a little heart-shaped nose for our bunny. And you can always, you know, rub the paint off and start over if it doesn't look like you want it to. That's the nice thing about painting on glass. You can scratch it off or rub it off. Okay. The bunny's got a little pink nose. So we're all done with the painting part of this project. So we're also going to need a bow. And I have some green burlap I'm using for my bow. And I need a little piece of floral wire to tie my bow together. And then I'm going to glue on some silk flowers onto that. So for my bow, I'm just going to go back and forth a couple times. Very simple. Then I'm going to take the floral wire, squeeze it together, pinch it together, twist my floral wire in the back. Simplest bow you can make there. Now your burlap may ravel a little bit, but that's just, you can cut it off or pull it off if you want. It's kind of the charm. This is kind of a rustic looking little thing with the, with the burlap. So I've got my wire twisted in the back. And then I'm going to take my glue gun, and you can lose, use craft glue. I used craft glue on my sample here. But to make it a little faster, I'm going to use the glue gun to glue my flowers on here with a blob of glue. We need a little more glue for this flower. This would make a really cute table decoration. Okay, there's our bow. And I'm going to glue the ears on before I glue the bow on because I want the bow to cover the bottom of the ears. So I want to kind of 
position them first to kind of get them where I want them. See what looks good. I'm kind of going to overlap them at the bottom. I turn it this way so I can see. So kind of like that. Again, with the glue gun or the craft glue. And then I'm going to glue the bow at the bottom where the ears meet so we can cover that part up. All my strings from my glue here. All right, there we are, our little wine glass bunny. See you next time.